So we're looking at the United States. You'll see here the West Coast, California, Oregon, Washington. You'll see the South, the Southwest. Again, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas. Okay. <clears throat> Up here, we have Idaho, Montana. Uh, should be Wyoming. Wyoming, okay. Colorado, Utah, Nevada, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Kansas. Okay, so you have... Nebraska, South Dakota, North Dakota. Okay, so we call this area in here the Midwest. We have what? Uh, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, Idaho. Missouri, Arkansas, okay, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio. We had Virginia, then West Virginia. Down here, the southeast. I think I've already said Kentucky, Tennessee, uh, Mississippi. Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North and South Carolina, Virginia, West Virginia, and then we have these little bitty states that were some of the original 13 colonies. Make them look bigger. Okay, so our capital is not a state, it's a separate district of Columbia, DC. Washington, D.C. We have Maryland, Delaware, New Jersey, and this is New York, but over here is the island of Manhattan, where we have New York City. Connecticut, Rhode Island, this little bitty state, Maine, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont. Wait a minute. I said this was Maine. That's not Maine. This is Maine. Sorry, so this is Maine. This is Massachusetts. And this is where the first settlers came from England, the Pilgrims. Plymouth Rock, Massachusetts. Okay, so let's look at the map again. Okay, we also have up across from China at the end of uh, way up here, we have Alaska which is our largest state, I believe, or maybe second largest, between Texas and Alaska. And then Hawaii, which obviously is not next to Texas. It's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Hawaii. Okay, we also have some U.S. territories that are not states right now, but could become states. Guam, America, Samoa. American Samoa, U.S. Virgin Islands, and Puerto Rico. Those are four U.S. territories that are not states, but maybe someday in your lifetime they could become states. And here they are. We're going to look at some regions of the United States now and what those regions are known for. So let me zoom in. So the Northeast is known for communication and finance. 
Finance is money. This first picture here is of the stock market. The stock market. Stocks and bonds. And stocks and bonds have to do with investing money in companies or in governments and getting interest back or earning money on the money you invest. So we have stocks and bonds. And here's a business person. She's got her business suit. She's got her briefcase. Dressed for business. Newspapers. The East Coast is known for newspapers and publications. Uh, New York City is one of the largest publishing places in the world. Okay, and as well as newspapers, we have magazines that are published. Many of them are published in New York. Okay, buying and selling. So buying is when you pay money and selling is when you try to get money. You have something you're trying to sell. Okay, and on a newspaper, we have some parts of a newspaper. We have the headline that gives the main idea. The headline, shuttle, blast off. We have advertisement, advertisements in newspapers. And this is how newspapers and magazines make money, by selling advertisements. So the co car company gives the newspaper money to put this advertisement in its newspaper. Okay. And let's go up to number 10. So the word is focus studio. And here you have what looks like a television studio or a news reporting studio. Okay, we have a newscaster. The person who gives the news on television is the newscaster. Television, they don't look like this anymore though, do they? Radio. Telephone. Satellite which is how cell phones work and how much of our technology works. Signals are sent up to satellites and back to the Earth. And of course, the East Coast is famous for the Statue of Liberty. And the Liberty Bell. And of course, the White House. So let's look at the next pictures here. Okay, so it looks like we are in New York, New York City. We have our business person. You can say businesswoman or businessman. We have newspapers for sale, and we see the headlines and the advertisements. Okay, she is buying, it's like a magazine, and he is selling the magazine. Okay, we have here the stock market and all of those papers uh, represent numbers or stocks that were being exchanged or sold and don't ask me to explain how the stock market works because I don't understand it okay but it's where people make money or lose money okay so we are in a studio and here's the camera and here is the newscaster, and he's announcing the news, and the camera person's working it. And of course, they have very old computers here. Radio, telephone. Notice the clocks give the time for different places in the world. I don't know if it's going to focus in enough. But the clocks show different places around the world, what time it is then. Okay. And greetings from the Northeast. We're famous for the White House, the Statue of Liberty, the Liberty Bell. Famous for <coughs> uh, making money, the stock market. And here are the states that are included in the Northeast. And if you don't know, that's a maple leaf, which 
Also in Canada, we get maple syrup. Okay, that is the Northeast. We are looking at the regions of America, the United States of America. Today we're going to be looking at the South, the Southern states. So where is the South? We're considering this the historic South, the South that was involved in the Civil War in the 1860s. Okay, so this is the area we're talking about, the South. So some words to know for the South. So the South is known for food processing and manufacturing. Sugar cane is a crop that's grown in the South. Cotton, and you know cotton is used to make thread, used to make clothing and sheets and so many things, cotton. Rice is now grown in the South, but you have to be careful if you buy rice that's grown in the South because they used to grow cotton there and they have pesticides that kill beetles for the cotton still in the soil and it can make your rice contaminated. So I'm telling you that because I do not buy rice from the South because I do not like poison in my rice. Okay. Crops. Crops. A crop is a bunch of plants that are grown at the same time that farmers harvest to sell a crop. Sugar. Sugar is one of the foods that are grown in the South. And it comes from the sugar cane. Okay, the South is also known for manufacturing. And that happens in a factory. Factory. You see all this? Factory. Here is a worker working in the factory. In a factory, you can see something called an assembly line, where a conveyor belt carries things down, and each worker does something, or a machine does something to the items that are being made or manufactured, the assembly line. Lumber. Lumber. Lumber is wood cut from trees, obviously, and cut into smooth shapes that can be used to build houses, buildings, okay? Lumber. The South is known for its lumber. Okay. What else is the South known for? Remember, the South is known for growing cotton, and cotton can be used to make cloth or fabric. First, the cotton is made into thread, and it's dyed, and then it's made into cloth. Furniture is something the South is also known for, using the cloth that's made as well as the lumber or the wood that's available. The South is known for furniture and furniture making. The South is known for raw materials. What raw materials do you see? I see sugar cane, cotton, and lumber or wood. Okay, raw materials are used to make goods. Goods are items that can be sold. And so here we have the goods we have. We have furniture, which is made from the cotton and the lumber. We have sugar and whatever this is. <laughs> When you have goods for sale, you need to transport them. 
they are transported from a port. A port is a place that a large transportation ship, a shipping boat, goes to have um, many heavy boxes full of goods and then the ship leaves the port, goes across to another port and deliver, delivers those goods. So the South has some famous ports. The South is also famous for plantations. From the time of slavery in the South, where wealthy white plantation owners had very, very large farms and they had free labor. The African slaves did the farming and the wealthy people lived in these big, beautiful houses. Plantation. And some of these houses are still there today that you can go see. Okay, very important in the south is the Mississippi River. If you ever get a chance to read Huckleberry Finn or The Adventures of Tom Sawyer, the Mississippi River is an important part of that story. Okay, This river divided the east from the west meaning the, everything past the Mississippi was considered the Wild West at one point, the West. So here's our Mississippi River. Okay, and also something that the South is famous for is the Kennedy Space Center, where we have, uh, you see here, a rocket, right, leaving. It's going to leave the Earth's atmosphere and perform some mission. Okay, so that is what we know about the South. Okay, so let's look at this other picture here. Excuse me. Okay, so what is the South known for? The South is known, famous for raw materials for farming, for manufacturing. You see here the raw materials being sorted and processed in a factory. Same thing here. So we have the raw materials that go through a factory. Okay, here's the crop that is uh, being cut down and the grain will be processed as it goes through the factory. Oh, I guess this must be sugar cane because look at our end product. Sugar for your coffee. Good picture. And then another picture here showing, um, let's see, where do we start with? So here's lumber, okay, and we go from lumber to the workers in the factory making the shapes for the furniture. We have the person who's making <coughs> the cover out of the thread and the fabric, the upholsterer who's putting it on. And then we end up with the finished product. Okay, and what else <clears throat> do we say we're, the South is famous for? See the South. We have the Mississippi Steamboat. We have beautiful plantations. We have famous factories and famous ports. And we have the Space Center. Okay, we're studying the regions of the United States of America, and this region is called the Midwest. Okay, if we look at the map, what we're talking about, the Midwest. Okay. So the Midwest is known for agriculture and dairy farming. So here's some vocabulary words. Dairy barn. A dairy barn is where cows are kept. You see there's 
place for them to get water and food. And here they're kept to be milked. Dairy barn. A group of cows that are used for food are called cattle. Cattle. And here we have a farmhouse. That's a pretty big farmhouse. Most of the farmhouses I've seen are not quite this big. But this right here, the porch, the front veranda, is typical of a farmhouse. Plant. Now, this is a plant, but the person is planting the plant. So here we also have a verb, plant planting. So planting crops. Harvest. So this is grain that has been grown and picked and it's ready to be made into food. That's called harvesting. Harvesting. Harvest. This is a plow. And a plow is a tool or machine that farmers use to quickly sow seeds into the ground. You see these hooks? These hooks are used to dig rows of holes, right, rows like this, so the seeds can be put into the ground. Okay, this machine is called a combine. So it, if you look here, cuts the plant down and then processes it and shoots it out. So you see the word? We say combine, but it's also the word combine because it combines two different functions, cutting and processing. Hay, used to feed farm animals. It's dry grass, hay. Okay, different crops the Midwest is famous for growing. Wheat, what we make bread from, wheat. Soybeans. And soybeans make many, many products um, from soy milk, tofu, tempeh. Soybeans are also used for oil. A lot of soybean oil is made. Corn. We know corn. Grain. Different types of grain. This is Corn is a grain. This looks like could be wheat. Grain. This is a grain elevator. Okay, so grain is stored in here. Grain elevator. And something famous from the this Midwest are the Great Lakes and the Great Plains. So a plain is wide open grassy fields. The Great Plains, the Great Lakes. And the, I think this is pretty cool. Mount Rushmore. <clears throat> I believe in South Dakota. So you see the faces of uh, four famous founders of our country carved into the mountain. 
and these are huge. Okay, let's look back at our pictures. Okay, so we have the cow barn. This looks like the green elevator. We have our plow, cattle, a farmhouse. Anything else? Uh, the person's planting over here. Any harvesting going on? I don't see any. Ah, there's the harvesting. And this machine is called the combine. And a postcard. What is the Midwest famous for? Farming. Mount Rushmore. So we have been learning about the regions of the United States. It's time to look in our own neighborhood, the West. Mining and ranching are what the West are known for. Gold mining, mining for gold, digging in the ground to get wealth and riches, and ranching, ranchero, how many places in San Diego area are called Rancho something. Okay, ranching. So, let's go through some words. Actually, let's zoom back over here. The big picture. Okay. What is this person looking for? They are mining for something valuable in the earth. And what is this person doing? This person has a ranch with cows, and we have our cowboy ranching. It's beautiful, isn't it? Okay, so we're talking about the West. We also have something called the Continental Divide. And for the, us, that means the occasional earthquake, the fault line that runs through the west. You know, there's a fault this way and a fault this way, the plates on which the continent is resting, and sometimes they rub against each other or there's this kind of action going on and we have mountain ranges. So we have a continental divide. Okay, copper penny. That's something that's mined for, copper gold, silver, isn't that beautiful, and precious stones. These are all things mined in the south. Okay, and that beautiful water splashing up is Old Faithful. It's a geyser that you can go and see in Yellowstone National Park. And you can also go to rodeos and see cowboys do tricks. And around the Rockies, the Rocky Mountains. Of course, you've got the big bears. Okay. So the West. Beautiful. Okay, so some words to know. Open pit. For mining, say open pit. It's a big hole in the ground. It is an open pit, a mine. So they're digging in the earth. Um, and by the way, California, our Northern California, our main football team, they're called the 49ers. Um, that is when the miners came to California to mine for gold. So we have the 49ers. Okay, ore is the raw, unprocessed, precious metal. Okay, so the silver ore, gold ore, copper ore. Okay, and 
on minerals, sulfur and copper, and they're at a ranch, and these are called livestock. Okay, they're owned, they're property, and they're alive, right? Not like a chair or a house, they're alive. So they're called livestock, and they're worth money, livestock. Okay, a corral, say the word corral. A corral is a fence or a pen to keep the animals safe, to keep them collected together. Ah, not just a cowboy, we have a cowgirl. I always wanted to be a cowgirl. Cowboy. We got a cowgirl and a cowboy. Okay. Sorry about that. The buffalo. Let's see as the picture clears up. So the buffalo, mm, kind of related to a cow. The buffalo ran wild roamed wild, okay, um, in the West. And during the time the settlers took over, many of them were hunted down and they're, you know, they were used or whatnot, but they were a beautiful wild animal. There's still some left. Um, if you get a chance to go to Catalina Island, which is my favorite place, you can go on a tour up in the hills and you can see wild buffalo roaming. And there's a song, Home, home on the range, where the deer and the antelope play, right? And blah, 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 and it says, where the buffalo roam. Okay, all part of the west. Okay, so a herd is a group of animals group of the same animal, herd, herd a buffalo. And what is the buffalo doing? He is eating grass, right? That's called grazing. He's grazing on the grass. Oh, and the Rocky Mountains. And there are many songs written about the Rocky Mountains. And the top of a mountain is called its peak. The mountain peak. Okay, the continental divide. And a rodeo. Yellowstone National Park. And Old Faithful. 